If you're not abiding by my friendship laws, you could be stopped by police today. They'll pull you over and they will ask if you were sipping on any soy recently. And what are you going to tell them, huh? Well, you better hope they don't check your portfolio to see that you sold the bottom because you traded and I told you not to. Don't listen to soy boys. I love trading. I've been trading for 12 years. I love the game. Unfortunately, the game destroys everybody. Not everybody, but enough people that it's statistically going to crush you. 98% of people are better off focusing on raising cash to think for long term. We have on-chain evidence. There are millions of people with positive P&Ls from holding. Do you have millions of traders who are profitable? No. You can count 10 to 30 on your hand. Bitcoin has 220 million people. 220 million, literally. Just take the top 10% of that. 20 million. That's a lot of people. So 20 million people doing really well. Sure, the bottom 200 million people probably bought the tops. They're not doing well at all. They're doing okay, not well, most of them. They got destroyed. But still, that's 20 million people. What about Ethereum? I don't know how many people Ethereum has. I know it's got 500,000 daily active users. Even has 50 million people. My gosh. 5 to 10 million people in Ethereum are crushing it. There you go. Bitcoin and Ethereum, just them two. You already have 30 million people. <laughs> Trust me. I, I dare you to find 100 traders. 100. And don't show me the fake PL on Binance because, yeah, those PLs, a lot of them are arbitrages, market makers, and there's a lot of dead souls. So I don't care that you can show me 100 people there because I can easily show you 400,000. They get wiped out too. Traders have a negative 10 year return. And they'll keep trading. They'll ignore the signal. So they'll keep trading, lose, underperform the market, and then continue. Very important. If you are underperforming the index, you're losing. That's it. What are you doing it for? Entertainment? Okay. How about you entertain yourself, go work, and just DCA put money in? I know it's not so easy. It is actually easy. But the answer, psychologically, there's a lot more nuance because it's very hard to tell somebody who's been getting a bit of dopamine hit during the highly active volatile times that they actually suck and they shouldn't be doing it. That's why the volatility, friends, a lot volatility, when the price is going up, this is Bitcoin early cycle, the price is going up so much, it's weekly candles, it sucks a lot of people in and there's a lot of volatility up the tops. We understand crypto is very volatile. Now, because there are a lot of scam market makers who get really good cheap price deals and trading deals with every exchange, it's very tough for you to have an edge because they're all scalping like a dollar here and there and they're just compounding it over and over. And we all know CEXs are scams now. Why? All the money's on chain. Why? Because they attract too much scum. Gamblers and scum, VC scum, market maker, hedge fund scum, they're all on the centralized exchanges trading around. You can learn this the easy way or the hard way. I know how it all works. Been in the game for 12 years. They sign up all these people, they give them bottom dollar trading fees and there's manipulation everywhere because it's so thin. Stopping people out, up and down. You need different models that can't get stopped out. What type of models do you need? Like you need an operation, friends. If you want to sit around and do this, okay, go, go and be the top 50. Are you part of the top 50? No. Most likely you're bottom. You're part of the bottom 98,500 people. Top 50 are always going to be the top 50. They're going to go and trade it. They'll develop personalities, branding on Twitter, YouTube. Can't even verify it, man. Like, yeah, look, I trust a lot of them, but can you really verify it? You can't. Look, uh, let me tell you something. I've known a lot of people that do really well from year three to like year six, okay? But then what you won't know is, let's say they made like 1.5 million trading or whatever, all right? Then you won't know this, but then in year nine, They'll take like a huge hit, like 480 grand. And then they'll make back half of it. And then they'll just drop like 650K, 700K. And then they'll just stop. So, but you, you don't hear about that end part, okay? You just hear about the part where their P&L goes to like, you know, 2 million, 5 million. You only hear about that part, 1 million. You don't hear about that part where now you're literally, you know, in, uh, other way down here, 
You don't hear about that part where the piano goes like this, like bang, bang, bang. You know what I mean? Because you're just assuming that the trajectory is going up and to the right. See, humans, our fantasy friends, we always assume, yep, it's going to keep going, it's going to keep going. You can't rely on that for long term. If you're, if you're skillful, of course, of course you can from the short term. But in the long term, what can I rely on? What do you rely on? We rely on this. There is a money printer. There are insiders. They get the money. They get the currency. Then they spend it and they spend it and they spend it again. It does a loop around the world and then it ends up in our Bitcoin bags, which is basically everything attached to crypto. Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the liquidity, all our altcoins. It ends up in the Ethereum bags, of course. That's how it happens. So what are we actually relying on? We're relying on the fact that the Ponzi is going to keep going. That's it. The Ponzi is going to keep going. They're going to keep printing money. There's too much debt to pay. Money's going to circle it around. There's going to be defectors who get the insider money. And then they're going to go, you know what? Let me just get a bit of this crypto Ponzi stuff just in case they got to print a bit much more. And that's what starts everything off. That's actually how it happens. That's how it happens. Because, you know, there's insiders. But don't forget... There are insiders, friends, but there's a scale of insiders. So these are the top insiders. Then there's like an outskirt here, right? And then when they print so much money, even the cockroaches on the very edge, the outskirts, they're still insiders. These people start defecting. So there's Larry here and there's Joe here. They start defecting. They're like, you know what? Let me, you know, I've got I've got a lot of these uh, cheap rated loans. I'm scamming with Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, right? I'm going to get Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein if I tell everybody. But they'll go and they'll buy some crypto bags. They'll lend to a crypto company. And it funnels its way in. And that's how when you start to see enough of that happening. So when they print a lot of money, all these people out here, all the on the outskirts, they start buying and buying and buying. And then you have the positive flywheel. But now it's happened too much. Now you want to see the next step, which is Roca Negra, who's coming in and saying, hey, 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 too many times have we seen that the money printer turns on and then you dirty little crypto people who are also butterscotch biscuits, you come out and you start buying this thing. Let's see what we can do here. Of course, it all links in to the ESG scam and all their, you know, the old Rock Negra, the ETF friends, because they want to close the gates for the Great Reset and CBDCs. All of it is linked. Don't think otherwise. I mean, I, I don't have, I haven't, honestly, I'm proud of you all. That's why you like, subscribe, press the bell button. I appreciate I love every single one of you. I haven't met a single person to this day who actually says to me, that they're skeptical of the ESG, Roca Negra, and the whole cow fart thing and the climate change and the WEF and the Great, great Reset. So, so everyone knows they're all linked. It's so obvious. They're scam, the totalitarian, all right, whoever's in control, the reptiles who want to unify humanity and try to do this transhumanism weird stuff, okay? Whoever's in control... They've just done it so aggressive. They made so many people poor that, like, we can't help but go, like, okay, it's so obvious they're all working together. Like, you're a conspiracy theorist if you think they're all just randomly by chance. And that's what we can rely on. See, that's why I've given you this beautiful story. So traders get wrecked because they're trying to rely on them on their own skill. They're trying to do, like, thousands and thousands of trades, but we only know, you know, the top 5 to 10% out of, like, a pool win. Everybody else gets destroyed. This is data from like, this is actual real research data fence. You know, this is from different studies. I'll paste these here for you. Traders with up to a 10 year negative track record, they still continued to trade on all stockbrokers. This suggests that day traders even continue to trade when they receive a negative signal regarding their ability. Exactly what I've told you. See, even when the market tells them, hey, you underperform, they still continue to trade. That's why once you open up Pandora's box and you go, oh, I'm going to start buying and selling and doing this. Once you do it once, it is literally impossible to go back. You can't go back. You can't get a little bit pregnant. Once the toothpaste is out of the tube, bang, that's it. They are now banished to a life of fondling stable coins. It's crazy. You know, this was during a period when the stock market went up 300%. Yes, when the stock market the S&P went up 4X. 4X is 300%, friends, right? On the recovery, people who had 10-year losing streaks, which is basically everyone who stays in long enough, they just continued to trade. They kept continuing to outperform. They're not going to stop now. That's why here I am to tell you, in crypto, it's even more dynamite. Don't trade your portfolio or you'll live to regret it. Here's Mr. Gojok saying, Ricardo Corazon, Richard Hart. 
He's so on point with this. Traders eventually get chopped up to a point except the minor few. So, you know, friends, I made this video a while ago, right? This is exposed. Crypto traders, PL revealed, wrecked. And I go through in this video, and this is so amazing, live. I was recording this for you live, and I went through on deck screen, and I just went through the bottom part. You can see the bottom bottom part where I go through people's P&Ls, and I just go randomly. By the way, this is the only winner, the only winner out of like 10 to 15 people. Bought 62,000 worth, sold 83,000, but they're holding stable coins. So on any move up, they're going to miss out. I know they're going to miss out. There's no way they have any balls or ovaries to hold. And I go through just every single person. I scroll through so many and just have a look and I, just, I get to see over and over. People get, people just get destroyed just like time and time and time again. This person lost 1,400. Like they're just getting destroyed here. You know, lost, lost, lost. Different account, lost, lost, lost. This is total account, by the way. Not just one trade here. Total account. This person's trade 20 times. They started with 3,800. They're down to 2,400. 20 trades. See, everybody crack. They just get cracked over and over and over again. But that's the game, right? That's the game. But, now we have information here, and the beautiful part is crypto goes up so much, you don't need to play this game. That's the beautiful part. If we're in stocks, okay, play the game. What? 7% per year growth is only a 2x after 10 years. You may as well play the game. Try to get better or do something else. Maybe start a business or something. But in crypto, the growth rate is so high still. Playing this game, you're going to regret it. See, these people, they're cocky. You know why they're cocky? They think... In like seven years, crypto is still going to be as volatile as it is today. Boy, are they mistaken. No, it's not. It's not going to be as volatile as it is today. It's going to be way worse. It's going to be worse. It's going to be more mature. Yeah, the prices are going to be higher, but they're not going to be able to trade their way to glory. It's going to be more competitive. Right? So Mr. Joy, Joy Boy saying, I've been hodling tight. I'm 100% staked. I was buying the Pulse X dip while it lasts. Great attitude. Yes, I know, friends, it sounds like copers because we're like, oh, man, <laughs> the only five people left here. Everyone else is gone. It is what it is, man. This is it. Okay, I went through all the charts. It was the same thing. You go check Twitter. You go check YouTube down at, during those times. You go check Reddit. Everybody quit. It was the same thing over and over. What are you going to do? Say this time is different? No. Assets go cheap. Assets go expensive. When they're expensive, everybody's partying naked. They got, them, they got their, like, you know, their shirtless, got the bras off, got the wigs on, got the lipstick on. Partying in the pool, right? Who invited those girls over? Okay, that's the tops. What are the bottoms? You feel embarrassed. You don't want to say the word crypto. You're in, like, people are laughing at you. Um, people want their money back. People are just accusing everybody to be a scammer. People are fighting, cannibalizing, tearing each other apart. Everyone says you got scammed. You're an idiot. Just admit you got scammed. They just want you to admit you got scammed. Those are bottoms. That's it. Over and over again. Do we see that? Do we, do we see that play out? Yes. Is this time different? I don't want to bank on this time is different. They're the most expensive words you could ever tell yourself in markets, they say. It's a very famous saying. This time is different. The most expensive thing you never tell yourself in markets. We've been through World War II, a zombie virus, all these other things. Is what we're going through any different? It's not. It's part of the package. Okay. I've got to remind you, right? Millionaire Turtle. Like what Richard Hart said, holders and founders get rich. Yes, it's true. That's why I've told you. All verified from the on-chain addresses. I mean, like you have millions of people. We can literally see the addresses. We're like, wow, this person made money. They bought and then they held and that's it. What's everyone try to do? Try to trade. That's why I don't put this poisonous leverage trading in front of you because I love and respect you because you're going to be here with me on this journey. If I start putting this absolute trash in front of you, I will increase your rate. Your I will increase the rate at which you are going to leave us. Your probability of survival goes down once I put it in there. But you know what goes up? How much money the influencer makes. That's why I don't like it. And I'll never like it. You know what I like though? Our friendship. Thank you very much, friends. Like, subscribe, bell button, all tell my dad. We love and appreciate him. And we are going to make it, okay? We are not going to pondle our portfolios in the shower. Because most people simply don't get it. Long-term way is the only way. Catch you in the next one.